Hello for this new exercise du jour. Today I'd like to start the week by showing you a new etude in F major <coughs> I came up with today. Um, this one focuses one more time on wide leaves so that we can still practice um, exploring the whole range of the guitar. And also this one is in 11-8. Uh, I'll start by playing it and then I'll explain uh, how I came up with it. So that's it for the etude. So how, uh, what are we doing right now? Because it's important when you play this exercise that you understand which harmony from the F major scale you're outlining. So I'll just show you um, how it works in, in, um, on one module and then you'll have to repeat it seven times according to each degree of the scale. So we start in D minor by playing A, F, B, so five, three, one of a D minor triad. Then we go to C, so it's our D minor, we go to C major, and then we go to A minor. Before we resolve on the last eighth note of the bar on F. So basically we go. And that's for the first, yeah, as I said, module that repeats twice until we start this whole pattern on the next degree of the scale, which is A diminished. Etc. Okay, a few things, uh, a few benefits you can extract uh, from this etude. Well, first of all, of course, exploring the whole range of the guitar, a lot of string skipping, um, hearing the harmonies that we're outlining, but also the fact that it's in 11 8 and that you're like really drilling um, one way of playing 11 8 with like very simple harmonies and something very consonant. Uh, may help you in uh, hearing the space of that measure, which is pretty uncommon, 11-8. It's not uh, a meter we play in all the time. So that's also something you can benefit from. And uh, another thing that I liked, that I uh, noted this morning when I uh, practiced this thing is this. Basically, I was doing, let's say we start from A minor in our etude. So that little section of the arpeggio, I really like. And I, and I inverted it and it goes like that. Start from C, C, G, B flat, E, G, B flat, D, and G. And so you're basically doing like a C7, 9 in a pretty, in its very, in a very nice way. How the voices are, you know, uh, arranged together. And you can that also on each degree of the scale. While you're actually doing it the other way around when you're playing the etude. So it's also, also something to be conscious about. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy practicing this etude. Thanks for uh, following these exercises du jour. Just a quick reminder, uh, exercises 2 to 34 are available on my website for only $5. I'll keep offering those lessons for free here and on YouTube, but if you feel like participating to this, uh, it will be obviously of great help. And uh, yeah, that was it for today. I hope you're well and staying safe. Bye-bye.